Hi, my name is Cynthia and I'm a third year diagnostic radiology resident at the University of Maryland Medical Center. This is me at about 7.20 a.m. walking to work. I live about three minutes from campus. Walking into the hospital isn't so bad when it's honestly this beautiful. At 7.30, we have our morning didactic conferences. We're pretty fortunate to have engaging faculty that are internationally recognized leaders in their field, including course lecturers for the AARP and section chiefs of the AARP in cardiovascular and thoracic imaging. Now, based on that, you know, the question is, how would we further characterize the abnormality? So again, when we look at the survey, so you guys felt that Certainly, most of you felt like this was more nodules that we see, uh, and clearly that's the case. Uh, we see nodules, again, upper and lower lobes, kind of along the interstitial. After conference, we head to the reading rooms. We have one-on-one -on -one readout throughout the day. There's constant teaching, but we also manage to have some fun too. Sometimes. Okay, maybe more than just sometimes, but don't get me wrong, there's plenty of opportunity within our department for research, community outreach, and advocacy. We like to think we have a pretty fun group of residents that don't mind hanging out inside or outside of work. And our attendings are pretty fun too. Baltimore is my hometown, so by default, I think it's a very special city. But others from out of town will agree with me as well. First of all, it's a very historic city with more historic landmarks than any other city in the United States. Being a port city, we have tons of waterside attractions, and that is absolutely my favorite thing about living in Baltimore. We also happen to be home to the best team in the NFL and the best stadium in the MLB. My favorite thing about our program is the unsurpassed collegiality between the residents and faculty as well. This support truly came to light at the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic. Hi. As we all know, coronavirus pandemic greatly affected residents' education all over. At University of Maryland, we were fortunate to benefit from an outstanding initiative that allowed remote education to continue with reading room experience. The unique Backspin project that ran over two months used state-of-the-art software developed by one of our own faculty that was adapted insightfully by our senior residents for this unique situation. It allowed us to read studies like we would do at work, followed by remote readouts with our more experienced colleagues. We received individual feedback, along with input on key learning points from our faculty. This outstanding, timely initiative is just another example, demonstrating how at Maryland, the program not only cares for our safety, but is deeply dedicated towards residents' education. As a resident at the University of Maryland, you will feel extremely supported by your co-residents and faculty. And then understanding our role, uh, particularly how to help uh, other doctors take care of their patients, right? And that's, that's the biggest thing I, I wanna emphasize, uh, particularly when you're on call, right? So, you know, two o'clock in the morning when the ER or the surgeons or you know, orthopedists or whoever calls you and, and has a question about a patient, you know, the, the key is they need help and they're coming to you for that and do your best to help them take care of their patient. Um, you know, the getting an accurate diagnosis with the most complete every single detail and, you know, incidental findings and follow up. That's, that's great. But more important is what do they need to know at two o'clock in the morning to take care of their patient? Um, 
And so, and try to be helpful in our, our prelims, our reports, you know, is there something they need to do something about? All right, so we'll talk about extremity.